In this video, we are going to learn about stack in data structure. Stack as a data structure in computer science are the same thing as a way of organizing objects in real world. Stack is a linear data structure which follows a particular order in which the operation are performed. The order of stack may be LIFO or last in, first out, or philo, first in, last out. First, we will see some examples of stack in real world. The first one is called Tower of Hanoi. The second one are stack of plates. The third one is a stack of tennis ball. Here we see in the second example, you will always pick up the dinner plate from the top of the stack. And if you want to put the plate back on the stack, you will always be putting it back on top of the stack. Let's now define a stack as an abstract data type. A stack is a list with a restriction that insertion and deletion can be performed only from one end called the top of the stack. There are two fundamental operations available with a stack. First one, a push operation. A push operation can insert or push some items onto the stack. And the second one called pop. Pop is removing the most recent item from the stack. This operation can be performed in constant time. Let's now list down some of the application of stack. First, stack can be used for expression evaluation. Second, stacks can be used to check parentheses matching in expression. Third, stacks can be used for conversion from one form of expression to another. Next one, stacks can be used for memory management. And last one, stack data structure are used in the backtracking problems. Today we are going to see one example of the application of stack. Let's take a look at backtracking problems. For example, we are going to use the Enquins problem. The solution of this problem is that Enquins should be positioned on chessboard so that no one of the queens can attack another queen. In the generalized n queens problem, n represents the number of rows and columns of the board and the number of queens which must be placed in safe position on the board. The basic strategy we will use to solve this problem is to use backtracking. In this particular case, backtracking means we will perform safe move for a queen at the time we make the move. Later, however, we find that we, we are stuck and there is no safe movement for the next queen, whom we are trying to put on the backboard, so we have to go back. This means we return to queen's previous move, undo this step, and continue to search for a safe place to place this queen. We will use the stack to remember where we place queens on the board, and if you need to make a backup, the queen at the top of the stack will be popped, and we will use the position of the, that queen to resume the search for the next safe location. Hence, stacks can be used for allocation of memory for most of the backtracking problems. What would the algorithm do without backtracking? Without backtracking, a program will place all the end queens before checking if any queens are attacking. This leads to a wasteful solution, such as an entire row of full of queens. We do need a whole row full of queens before we know that the solution failed. Instead, we only need two queens to be attacking each other to know that the solution is wrong. 
Thank you for watching my video. That's all from me. Until next time.